Hey, what's up guys? I know it's been a while since I've made a decent video for my channel. I've uh, been busy with Corona and work and family and my daily driver and my race car and all this other stuff. I really want to make more videos for you guys. I just haven't had the time to sit down and edit stuff. So I'm going to try to do this uh, in one take and just show you all what I've been doing to the race car. A few other new projects have come up. Um, some not wanted projects but they have to be done so let's just uh, talk about the race car and yeah we'll go from there all right guys so this is the 81 Malibu wagon I've been working on even though videos aren't coming out I am working on this thing all the time uh, it does run doesn't drive yet and I'm gonna talk to y'all pretty much about the entire car we're gonna go over it front to back and show you all what I've done and what still needs to be done before this car can be driven so starting in the front I swapped out the front end not the whole front end this fender was good but this front uh, fascia here and this fender were pretty trashed so uh, the guy that I got the car from he had these that came with it so I just threw them on there and the car is now straight so it's ready for paint kind of it needs a little bit of body work uh, I got an aluminum three row radiator a flex light fan on the front or actually technically on the back uh, I know this is really dirty um, the hood when it's on the car has a big cowl so leaves and dirt and stuff come in and get all over this stuff so believe it or not I had this clean just a few days ago it already looks pretty rough uh, the engine is a 383 small block Chevy stock GM block aluminum pro top line heads a Proform 750 carburetor ceramic coated headers um, the yellow spark plug wires are ugly as hell but it was all I had so I threw them on there just to get the car running I'm gonna be putting red ones on eventually uh, I got a Jags fuel pressure gauge a Jags regulator and then dash 6 line running along the frame and then down into the frame right there and later I'm gonna be upgrading to dash 8 but dash 6 is what I had so I threw it on uh, once I hook the nitrous up, I will be running dash 8. Um, stock suspension. Nothing really has been done to the front. Uh, I've got my Jags wheels on here. 15 by 4.5. Or maybe it's 4, I don't remember. Uh, 15 by 10 on the rear. 5.5 inch backspace. 275, 60, 15 Nitto drag radials. Whenever somebody says they have a small tire car, these are small tires. This is the definition of a small tire car. Um, interior wise, nothing special. I've been working underneath the dash doing some wiring. <clears throat> it looks like it's got Honda CRV seats in it. Uh, eventually I'm going to change those. There's some stuff I need to put into the car. Uh, I don't even have a tack on here yet. These gauges are just temporary while we're running the engine in. Uh, they're going to be mounted inside eventually. Got my B&M shifter installed. Shift linkage is hooked up. Uh, we'll talk about the back of the interior over here. Uh, the transmission is not hooked up. Uh, it is bolted to the engine, but the torque converter is not hooked up. Uh, I do have the exhaust already built, just don't have it on. Uh, I've got drive shafts laying here. I was trying to find one that's close enough to modify, which is this brown one here. I'm just waiting on my Turbo 400 yoke, which should be here in a few days. And then we're going to shorten this drive shaft and I got some Spicer uh, heavy duty U-joints for it. So it should hold just fine. Uh, this transmission cross member I got from Jegs is made for a G-body with a Turbo 400. But for some reason was too short. So I had to make a little extension plate right there. So kind of weird, but whatever. I got it to work. Moving to the back of the car. Um, right here, it's got a factory fuel tank drilled some holes in the tank welded a sump to it and then I've got the fuel filter there fuel pump right there that's a Holly black fuel pump and then I've got the line tucked nicely inside of the frame all the way to the front back of the car uh, I do have all of the interior um, I just have a little bit of metal work to do in here finish the wheel wells and then I can put the interior back in 100% stock interior, it's all going back in. 
this is where the spare tire is supposed to be. Uh, I put the fuel or the uh, nitrous bottle in there. And there's a panel that is actually sitting over there, a big ass panel. And you can see right there, there's a door. And that's how you would access the spare tire. So from the outside, you won't be able to see the nitrous until you lift that door, which is what I wanted. The intent of this car when I first got it was to build a sleeper, but with the wheels and tires, the hood, the sound of it, it's not really going to be much of a sleeper. Um, and then I've got the fuel pump relay right there. And the wiring going all the way up to the front. The duct tape and stuff is just temporary. It's just holding it there out of the way. And then I've got my fuel line along the top of the frame rail. So I need to finish uh, the metal work inside and then I can put the interior back together. And I believe that's it guys. I think that's about everything. Uh, like I said, the exhaust I have already made. It's in the garage. I just need to put it on. Um, and I'm going to start it here for you guys and let y'all hear it run. I don't know how well the quality of it's going to be on this camera because this fucker is loud. But I'm going to try my best to make it good. If it's not, I'm sorry. If it is, well, then here you go. <laughs> 